Hey everybody, I'm making this quick live stream because this is the early part of the upcoming Oakland 2024 election cycle and yet we already have candidates posting that, well, they're running. But at this point, election cycle and yet we already have candidates posting that, well, they're running. But at this point, election cycle and yet we already have candidates. Foremost among them is a young lady by the name of Salika Thomas. And you would say, well, who's Salika Thomas? And I would say, that's why I'm making this video to introduce you to this would-be fashion model. Let's get the obvious out of the way. She looks like she could be on the cover of Vogue or Ebony or Vanity Fair right there. That's the first thought I had when I saw her. I thought, well, obviously she was a model, right? Or is a model or something, something back there. But when I went to look at her website at the URL, sleekathomasforcitycouncil.com, what I read was the following. Salika is fearless and she is determined to help her city. She's passionate about cleaning up Oakland and making it safe for children to play outside again. She wants to fix up and turn abandoned buildings into shelters, create affordable housing and child care, power wash streets, remove graffiti, paint, fill potholes, provide felons to work programs and create pathways for the unemployed and homeless. She was born and raised in East Oakland. After graduating from Fremont High, she earned an AA degree in science and cosmetology. Ah, now we're getting somewhere from Laney College. Salika Stan started her business installing sewn weaves for clients with hair loss. Salika faces struggles common to Oakland residents at her East Oakland flat lands home. She's had to deal with car break-ins abandoned cars, piles of trashes, car chases, and homeless people living on her street. Salika decided to fight back by becoming a block captain of her neighborhood and has resolved neighborhood problems directly with local city agencies, school administrators, and school boards. In 2018, and I'm continuing to read from her website, Salika lost her little sister to gun violence in Oakland and now raises her 11-year-old nephew. In 2022, she lost her brother's dad and the man who helped raise her, Army veteran Rodney Davis. And this happened to a senseless wave of gun violence in Oakland that made headline news. As a result, Salika advocates for cameras to be attached to shot spotters. I think it's a brilliant idea. These have reduced, she writes, crime by 43% in Chicago. Sleeker will do whatever it takes to get the job done right. She says she asks you to believe in her. That's how she introduces herself. So she has some political experience. If you're a block captain in the neighborhood in Oakland, that, that's coming with political experience. That's coming with some receipts because you are out there helping the community, representing the community, you're known. And yet she is, I think, in our history of people running for office, the one who's had one of the hardest roads that she's had to go. This is along the lines of our current mayor, Shang Tao, and her background. Not dissimilar. So we're getting into a wave of people who've grown up in Oakland and who's come, who've come from the tougher aspects of Oakland as opposed to one who came from the common line where you were assembly person like Elihu Harris was or a judge. We have a wave now of elected officials that don't represent that classic background. We have a wave of elected officials who represent 
just people, the middle class, transformed because of economic change and shaped by the hard facts that have created Oakland today. Miss Thomas is one of them. So I look forward to having her on the program to interview her and find out more about her. Check out her website. This is not an endorsement of her, but she is quite a fascinating, intriguing candidate. No question about it. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com. That ends this broadcast. Thanks.